Hi everyone, Pridhiwe from TGT and welcome to another video. Let's talk about the new macOS update. Apple has released macOS Monterey 12.2.1 to the public. This update came two weeks after the public release of macOS Monterey 12.2 and fixes some major security flaws. Along with that, Apple also released iOS 15.3.1, iPadOS 15.3.1 and Apple WatchOS 8.4.2 to the public. To check for this update, go to System Preferences, then go to Software Update and you should see your update here. But if you are already on macOS Monterey 12.3 Beta 2, then you will not see this update as you already have a higher version than this one. As you can see, this update came in around 1.04 GB on this mid-2017 MacBook Air 13 inch and depending on the device you have and the version number you are on, this size should vary. Before the update, let's check the build number. As you can see, the version is 12.2 and the build number is 21D49. The available free storage in this Mac is 46.67 GB out of 128 GB. Now before I update, here is a quick request to subscribe to TGT. This is a dedicated channel for Apple users and I post important Apple related videos here regularly. So do subscribe to get the latest updates from Apple. Now let's proceed with the update. Okay, the update is now complete guys. Let's go to about this Mac. Here you can see it's 12.2.1 now and the new build number is 21D62. After the update, the available free storage space available in this device is around 52.95 GB, so a bit of storage space gain. Talking about changes, this update contains zero new features, one resolved issue, one security fix, but no new enterprise fix. The first update is related to Safari. MacOS Monterey 12.2.1 comes with an updated build for Safari 15.3. The new build number is 17612.4.9.1.8. Apple also released this updated Safari 15.3 for macOS Big Sur and Catalina users. So Big Sur and Catalina users, you should see a separate security update available for your Mac related to Safari 15.3. This fixes an important security flaw on your Mac. MacOS 12.2.1 also fixes an issue for Intel-based Mac computers that may cause the battery drain during sleep when connected to Bluetooth peripherals. This was an issue which many of you faced after updating your Mac to MacOS 12.2. That should be solved now. But there is no update for Intel Mac T2 BridgeOS or Apple Silicon M1 firmware. Those are same as MacOS 12.2. So if you are facing any issue related to that, this update is not going to help. As I mentioned earlier, macOS Monterey 12.2.1 fixes a major security issue. If you go to the Apple security update website and go to macOS Monterey 12.2.1, here we can see there is one CVE entry. It fixes a WebKit issue where the impact was processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. This has been patched in this update. Apart from that, there are no new features in this update. Performance and stability wise, this is running without any issue so far in this late 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch. MacOS 12.2 was also very stable and I never faced any battery drain issue during sleep mode. But the overall battery life of MacOS Monterey isn't that great lately, at least for me. Battery life of MacOS 12.2.1 will take some time to report. With macOS Monterey, I get around 6 to 7 hours of battery life in this MacBook Air, but it varies depending on the task I am doing. After all these years, the remaining battery capacity in this Mac is around 84%. Now for the benchmark scores, let's run the Geekbench 5 year. And the scores for the macOS Monterey 12.2.1 are 722 for single core and 1535 for multi core. Both the scores are up from the macOS Monterey 12.2. So that's a great news according to performance. So if you are running macOS Monterey 12.2 already, I think you should update to this version. This version is stable and will make your Mac more secure. If you are still on macOS Big Sur or Catalina, there is a new Safari update for you. But you should not expect any new feature for macOS Big Sur further. And of course, before you update, do not forget to take a backup of your device. 
That's it for this video guys. Do share your experience about this update as well. If you have found something new, also share that. Do like, share and please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.